the way song poems work, now that Phil explained this in more detail, are uh, there's ads in the back of magazines. There mostly were. Uh, it's kind of an old-fashioned thing. And it would say, we need lyrics for songs. You would send your lyrics into this company, and no matter how bad your lyrics were, they would say they're great. And then you would pay money to have professional musicians record this so you could make money off your songs. Right. It's also <clears throat> called song sharking. And what you have is what I'm always looking for in art, which is you have the combination of insanity and skill. Or if you want to call it inspiration and perspiration. If you want to call it any sort of thing that's broken down. What you're always looking for in art is somebody that has incredible skills and someone that has the inspiration to do crazy stuff. Passion. Passion. And it's really hard to find those two together. So you usually see one or the other. You usually go to see a crazy person who can't do very much, or you go see a person that's not very crazy, but they practiced a ton. And we all have examples in our music libraries and in movies and so on of perfectly done stuff like you know, a Martin Scorsese-directed movie, and then you have your crazy, you know, uh, 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 I'm trying to think of, you know, Plan 9 from Outer Space. Sure. Which is all inspiration, and then you have all the, you know, the Days of Heaven. You know, perfect filmmaking with no craziness. Well, you know, not that kind of craziness. <laughs> and then you have Plan 9 from Outer Space. And you want to get a mixture of those where you have really good filmmaking with uh, with uh, with a combination of uh, of craziness. And you don't find, hey, there's Phil Milstein. Uh -huh. You don't find that combination very often of those two. And what song poems do for me is they combine that almost cynical skill with this pure inspiration without skill and mash them together. And the person who knows more about song poems than anybody in the world and the person that got me into them and is my is my dealer for song poems yeah. is uh, Phil X. Milstein here on the uh, on the video. Are you there, Phil? Yes, howdy. Hi. It's uh, You're talking to Michael Goudeau, Matt Donnelly, and How's me. And a few times I've talked about song poems on the podcast, but have never had you on. And it seems really important that the world know more about song poems. So lay it on us. Tell people the real details so you don't just get my half-assed version. It is generated from advertisements, uh, very small display ads or classified ads in the back of uh, mass market magazines uh, by small production companies seeking average people, people not connected to the music industry who have written a poem or song lyric in their past and uh, just trying to prompt the idea in that reader of taking that uh, that lyric or poem that they've written and having it set to music and having it recorded, uh, they try to uh, use a, a, a lure of the possibility of the resulting song becoming a success, becoming a hit record. And um, <clears throat> then becomes, I mean, if they're able to influence a, a reader into submitting their lyric for what the ads usually call um, free, what's the word they use? Uh, free analysis or assessment of, of, the song, of the lyrics possibility to be a hit record. Um, they then try and pull a bit of a, a bait and switch by taking what the, the reader who's now uh, the customer or potential customer and also the song lyricist, uh, what they initially would assume would be a revenue stream coming back to them <laughs> and, have to turn, and have to turn it around so that that person then will actually subsidize their lyric being uh, having a melody set to it having it recorded and ultimately having it manufactured as records. Uh, the, the, the revenue, the money that they pay out has to cover all the overhead plus profit of the company in order for this to be uh, a viable transaction. And uh, I was, I was, I was explaining and have explained many times what I love 
about uh, song poems is the combination of the uh, naivete and the and the pure pure inspiration of the lyrics coupled with the almost in some cases uh blasé attitude of the musicians just kind of a hack music put with really fascinating uh unedited lyrics yeah that's um it's the um what's the confluence of of these almost opposing streams that come together with each particular song uh, that is part a large part of what makes them so great um, and so unique as well. That one. 